my friend in the car like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way the blues would play before bands came on. You used a man playing a guitar, blow the harmonica. One of the two. Now down here in Mississippi Delta, when Muddy Waters put this thing together, it was the guitar in the upright bass. It was the harmonica and the piano. They worked together. Harmonica and piano. Guitar, upright bass. Then Muddy Waters put these people together. Hmm. The piano, the upright bass, the drums, and the guitar. Northeast Mississippi, where I'm from, was not like that. It was the guitar and the drum. That's what it was. That's the way they done it. They didn't combine the two. It was a problem when money come up there. How uh, the wolf would come down here. They had to pay respect. Two different styles of music here from both of the heads. <clears throat> the Hill Country and the Mississippi Delta. Both was out of Mississippi. I mean, you had Mississippi John Hurt, all of these people from the Mississippi Delta, Son House, Willie Brown, all these people. But you had just as many up in Northeast Mississippi, too. But the problem was just a handful from Northeast Mississippi went professionally in it. They left the cotton fields, went to the factories. They didn't go to the cities. They let the cotton fields go to the factories like that. They didn't take a chance on playing music for a living. So Muddy Waters did, and he brought a lot of young people from the Mississippi Delta to Chicago before they started moving up there. But Northeast Mississippi, the Hill Country guys, didn't have that many. You had people like Holly Wolf, he won the first. Leroy Foster, baby face Leroy Foster. He was the first drummer for Muddy Waters from Punny Top, Mississippi, not Mississippi Delta, from the Hill Country, from where I'm from. Just two miles from where I live now, family still lives there. He was the first drummer for Muddy Waters. You follow me? You had Big Joe Williams from Northeast Mississippi. Bunker White, Northeast Mississippi. Mississippi Fred McDowell. Jesse May Hinfield. It was tons of them up there. My father, Eddie Bean, my grandfather, there was tons of blues guys up that way. But they just played yeah, I... in Northeast Mississippi. They didn't go professionally. Many from Holy Streets. All that's North Mississippi. All that's North Mississippi. You people heard of Magic Sam. Magic Sam. Max, uh, Magic Sam, Magic Sam, Magic Slim. Two different people. <laughs> but they both from Grenada, Mississippi. Hill country guys. They went to Chicago. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. They all from Northeast Mississippi. Hill country guys. Went to Chicago. They were said they from Chicago. But they're not. They from Northeast Mississippi. <laughs> they hill country guys. So when when Muddy Waters got to Chicago and got on a record label with, with Chet Records, Muddy Waters was already there. He was the first to open the door for the Mississippi Blues guys. Robert Johnson did as much as he could before he died. But Muddy done it. Yep. Then here come Holly Wolf. Now you got a company that Wolf and Muddy is into it. So the chess record people didn't understand what was really going on. They thought that Hollywood Wolf was jealous of money, but it wasn't that at all. <laughs> it wasn't that at all. Wolf was upset about Willie Dixon got all these Mississippi Delta guys the credit for the blues. And the Mississippi Delta guys was up there playing the blues. But the music that you're playing is not Mississippi Delta music. The music is Northeast Hill Country guy Hill music. Country. That's what the problem was. Muddy Waters knew this. He combined the both music together. The Mississippi Delta 
the hill country. The blues exploded. When Wolf come now, Wolf brought it all out on the table. He wasn't jealous of money. But this music that the Mississippi Delta guys was playing is Northeast Mississippi music, not oh, Mississippi Delta. Country. Hill country. That's what it was about. That's right. One summer day, my baby went away. 